Hi everyone, good to see you. I wanted to share a story with you that is one of the stories that I loved uh, reading to my kids when they were little and I thought you might like it. It's called The Birthday Presents by Paul Stewart, pictures by Chris Riddell. And if you can see, it's a little hedgehog and a little rabbit. Hedgehog, said Rabbit, when is your birthday? I don't know, said Hedgehog. Neither do I, Rabbit sighed. If I don't know when my birthday is, said Hedgehog, how could you? I mean, said Rabbit, I don't know when my birthday is. Oh, said Hedgehog. As the sun sank behind the trees, Hedgehog and Rabbit thought sadly about all the birthdays they would never have. I have an idea, said Hedgehog. Let's celebrate our birthdays tomorrow. They might not be tomorrow, said Rabbit. But they might be, said Hedgehog. It would be a shame to miss them if they are. You're right, said Rabbit. That's a good idea. We will wish each other happy birthday and give each other presents said Hedgehog. Presents, Ugh, yawned Rabbit. Birthday presents, said Hedgehog. That's what birthdays are for. Later, as Hedgehog snuffled for slugs beneath the plump silver moon, he wondered what sort of present he should give his friend. Hedgehog thought about the burrow where Rabbit was fast asleep. How silent, gloomy, and damp it must be. How dark. An empty bottle glinted down by the lake. Hedgehog looked at the bottle. He looked at the moonlight on the water. That's it, he cried. Hedgehog filled the bottle with the bright water. A bottle of moonlight will be my present, he said. Then he wrapped it up and went to bed. Rabbit woke up early, too excited to stay asleep. What present should I give Hedgehog, he wondered. Rabbit thought of his friend sleeping out in the wide open. How frightening and noisy it must be, how bright. In the corner of his burrow, he spied his useful tin. The very thing, he cried. Rabbit filled the tin with warm, snuggly darkness and patted it down with his paw. A box of coziness, he said. He pressed the lid into place and wrapped it all up with straw. Hedgehog will love my present. Evening came and the two friends met. Rabbit, said Hedgehog, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, Hedgehog, said Rabbit. Here's your present, said Hedgehog. Rabbit tore off the leaf wrapping. It's a bottle of moonlight, said Hedgehog, so that you will no longer be afraid of your very, very dark burrow. But I'm not, Rabbit stopped. Thank you, he said. It's a wonderful present. And here is your present, said Rabbit. Hedgehog tore off the straw wrapping. It's a box of coziness, said Rabbit, so that you will no longer be disturbed by the bright, noisy day. But I'm not, Hedgehog stopped. It's just what I've always wanted, he said. In the middle of the dark night, Rabbit woke up and looked at his present. Dear Hedgehog, he said, a bottle of moonlight indeed. He took out the stopper and drank the water inside. I can fill it with water every day, said Rabbit. Then I will never be thirsty in the night again. At the end of the long rustling night, Hedgehog noticed his present. Dear Rabbit, he said sleepily, a box of coziness indeed. Hedgehog opened the lid and looked inside. It's a slug catcher, he said. I will never be hungry if I wake up in the middle of the day again. That evening, Hedgehog found Rabbit down by the lake. Do you like your bottle of light, he asked. Yes, said Rabbit. It's the best present I've ever gotten. Do you like your box of coziness? 
Yes, said Hedgehog. It's the best present I've ever gotten. Together, the two friends watched the sun turn from orange to red. Hedgehog, said Rabbit, rubbing his eyes. When will we have another birthday? Soon, said Hedgehog. Very soon. I love this story because it tells me about how sometimes when we get gifts, we don't know what they'll be for or how we'll use them. And we don't even know what we need or want sometimes. But what comes through real friendship and real love and real care from those that we are close to is always a gift and should always be treasured. I know that right now there are lots of people who are unable to celebrate birthdays in the ways that they'd hoped or expected or thought they wanted, but there are different ways for us to celebrate one another and to let each other know that we're special. I am glad to be in community with you. I'm glad to share your birthdays. I'm glad that we have many gifts that we share with one another. Be well, friends. This is my dog, Sully, by the way, who decided to join us for our story time. So hope you're doing well and having fun. Bye for now.